Jared Poland Fro Nose Photo. Dot com. And before we jump into this rapid fire critique, another Adorama Picks rapid fire critique, I want to remind you if you haven't signed up for the Frono's Photo email list, you can do so right here. Just look for this orange box, click on the screen, it's going to take you right to the site. Put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I'll send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations. That's right, it is a free ebook. So let's jump into the video right now. This critique, we've got personal favorites from B. Hoagland. And let's see what we've got here. I believe this said Nikon D700. So there we go. First shot. You know, the depth is interesting. I, I like the fact that it's kind of layered. It almost has a three-dimensional look, which leads me to believe this was probably shot at a higher aperture. Let's see how it was taken. F13. Yep. Because it was at a higher aperture, you could see it's more depth of field going there, more front to back in focus, and it gives you the feel that it's three-dimensional. I like the feel of it. The the interesting the, the, the shot isn't uber duber fantastically interesting, but I like the processing and I like the feel that we got out of it. Alright. This feels good. You know what I like about it? I like the fact that this is kind of in, in, in order. You could draw a line. This is very similar to leading lines. You got nice reflections. You've got nice smoke on the water. Smoke on the water. Yeah. Um, I think a horizontal may have felt better. More water, more sky. It's not the most pleasant scene in the world because it's just a little, I don't know. It just doesn't seem so clean, but Maybe another tighter shot up here of just the smoke on the water could be pretty cool. I don't mind it. I like the colors that are going because it's just the feel of the gradation from the dark blue all the way to the burnt sienna. Bob Ross here. We're going to paint ourselves some happy trees. And we got some happy clouds coming here. Doesn't it just make you feel good and wonderful? Um, let's get some burnt sienna right here. Anyway, that's my Bob, Bob Ross. Moving forward. Ooh, this is cool. I love... I mean, all right, so some people may say that, oh, you cut off the wing of the, the wing of the butterfly. But I like the feel of it. Oh, it says D7000, not D700. Show more info. F56, one twenty-five thousandth of a second, ISO 800. I love the fact, the fact that this was shot at 25, what did I say? 800 ISO to get that faster shutter speed. Love the focus right here. Really nice. Love the out of focus things in this frame that are drawing you in. Down here, it's like blurry and out of focus, which is nice because it draws you into the frame. This is nice and sharp, and boom, we got the Futterbly nice and sharp. I like that image. Speaking of smoke on the water, all right, I like the processing going on here. Nice, cool light. We've got the cigarette smoke. I hope it's real. I think it looks real and not added later. I like the look. I like the feel of it. I like the composition. I like that he's not lined up right in the middle. Nice head tilt going on there. We've got a little bit of a highlight over here, but the, the light in the eye, yeah, maybe a little bit more light here in this side, but maybe it's just going for a darker look. I would also like to see a more boomified one to, see, to give it a more grittier look. That would be interesting to see how that would look as well, but I do like the feel of it. Yeah, not bad. This would make a nice backdrop to a computer. I could see putting this as a as a nice backdrop. It's a nice scene. Uh, I like all of the different thingy fingers thingies things right here. Uh, whatever they are, but it's cool. It goes on forever. I'm gonna say something like f18 or f22, f8. All right, f8. What millimeter? 26. All right, that explains that. So it's a nice wide shot. I like that it's not bowed or anything, and all the lines are straight. It feels good. Like it. Nice job. Hmm. Before this even loads, I'm hmm. Eh. Go black and white, I think you may save this image. Slow shutter speed to get the ghosting of the water. But other than that, there's not enough focus here on the water. And it's just like, okay, there's rocks that are sharp and the water's out. So I'm not feeling this one that much. Maybe it would save if you did a black and white. Interesting. Very interesting feel. It's like we gradated here. It's just interesting. It's making me think. Um, let's check the aperture again. Now, oh, there is a D700. F11. I'd love to know more about these things. Except I can't read. Floor Compton Og Octen Bomb Nelson Lit Unven Ogden Dikram Stimpton Blipper Blitra. I can't read that language. Um 
I'd love to know the story behind it so I can give more of a, you know, what I think about it. But it's not bad at all. It's just interesting. I, I can't say I love it, but it's interesting to see how we gradate here. Like, it's darker over here. I don't know if that's in processing or not, but I'm going to keep moving on from that one. Um, okay, this is... Ah, uh, yeah, I like this so much more. See, such a difference between the last image. There's images that go, yes, that just grab you and you go instantly, I like it, that feel good right off the bat. And then there's images like the one before where you're like, meh, mm, I'm trying to find something to say about it. But what I like about this is that the boat, the way that this boat angle is, first the boat uh, angle of the dock, the angle of this boat, the reeds in the water, uh, reeds in the water. But what's interesting is this this glow right here is like powder coming out of the sky and by powder I mean the movie so I don't know if this is an HDR shot vignetting uh, it's just vignetting I like that I can read this stuff over here that's pretty cool um, but yeah this side I, I really like this one it feels good feels good I like the contrast I like the the editing and processing nice job Let's see what else we have here so we've got something on fire it's something on fire uh, it's captured very well. The colors look good. The the back actually, I would love to see it tighter here. I mean, think really large. This could look really cool because everything is catching on fire. All the whatever it is, the seeds, and I actually now that I look at it more, I would love to see a closer up of this. I love the fact that you can see the nice detail here and everything is on fire. So yeah, the more I look at this, the more I like it. But I'd like to see it a little tighter. Squirrel. I like this squirrel. A really cool composition. Depth of field. It's cropped. I can see that it's cropped because you can see that the aspect ratio is off. But I really like this. I love the ears. Or maybe this is a chipmunk because it kind of looks like a chipmunk. I don't. Are you a squirrel or are you a chipmunk? I am whatever you want me to be, sir. All right. Thank you, chipmunk. Uh, but really, that is kind of going to be all about it for this rapid fire critique if you haven't picked up the Fronos photo beginner guide it's down there on the bottom of the screen it's been there the whole time the dvd in the corner you can always pick that up go ahead and click on it it's a three hour long awesome kick-ass video that i've created you can get it as a dvd or as a digital download that's another adorama picks rapid fire critique jared poland photo.com see ya